Well, welcome back to another Wednesday review coming at you hot from the boys at the Buffalo Happy Hour. Today, we are not doing a whiskey again. Kind of switching things up on you, making sure you're all on your toes. Because we got a gin. We're going clear. Clear liquid is for rich women on diets, as Ron Swanson says. But right now, this is what we got. This review is brought to you by Addie's. Sure Addie's is. Fine Wine and Spirits, located on Transit Road in Williamsville. If you have not checked them out, please do. They are family-owned and operated. They have an in-house wine sommelier as well as an app that you can search their inventory. And if you are local in the state of New York, they can ship it right to your door. You can find their app on the Apple App Store and the Google Playground Play Store by searching Addie's Fine Wine and Spirits. And it's a white square with a grape vine located in the logo. So, Addie's, thank you for being a sponsor of this, and thank you for the spirits. I heard they're a sponsor through the grapevine, actually. Aha. Moving right. on. So, today we have gin from our friends over at Clonic Hilti. And if you don't know who Clonic Hilti is already, don't know what you're doing here on our channel, because we have featured them countless times, and we've also been to their distillery in Ireland, you can watch that video right up here. The entire playlist. We uploaded four videos. Hopefully you enjoyed them. But this is a gin from their distillery. What's interesting about Clonic Kilty themselves when it comes to making gin is they specialize more in creating gin from this botanical called Rock Samphire, which is a botanical grown on the side of the cliffs outside of their uh, property on the coast, which is really cool, really fascinating. Unfortunately, we were not able to do it because it was not in season. But basically, they repel from the cliffs, pick it off, and then make their gin from there, which is pretty sweet. I mean, it's got to be terrifying. It, yeah, absolutely. You'd literally fall hundreds hundreds of feet into freezing water and uh, probably hit a rock or two on the way down. Right. So this is named Minky Gin. It is named after the whale species that basically swims on the Atlantic or in the Atlantic Ocean kind of near Ireland. So that's where it comes from. Their logo is a big whale tail, which is sweet. It's a huge sculpture in front of their distillery, which is sweet to look at. Um, so if you are in Ireland and you do happen to be at that distillery, go check it out because it is a really, really cool sculpture. And this particular gin won gold. Is, it was the best signature international botanical gin in 2019 at the American Distilling Institute. So quite a cool accomplishment there. And we are going to try it on today's show. We have uh, 750 milliliters of 43.2% ABV, which translates to 86.4 proof. And uh, let's get into it. Label branding. What do you got? I do like their label on this a lot. Um, it is coastal, breezy, light, refreshing, and professional, all wrapped into one. Uh, for me, I like their font a lot. So I'm kind of partial to that, but it kind of gives me like a Mer uh, Mediterranean mm -hmm. vibe, not necessarily a, a uh, even a Mexico vibe. But that blue and clear, right? You're yeah, talking about? yeah, not a uh, definitely not an Ir Ireland vibe. But I love this. I like the shape of the bottle, uh, cork. Oh yeah, real cork. Yep, real, real cork. Real cork. And not then that they synthetic have, stuff either. Nope, they got their. There Ooh, you go. That was a good one. Their logo is imprinted on the top of the cork. Uh, they just did a really good job with this. For me, I'm going A++. I'll go A++, too. I like it. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Let's uh, pour this bad boy out. Let's get some uh, Every th If you're here. new here, uh, of course, like, comment, and subscribe. But we do everything neat. Regardless of what it is, we try it neat. And then from there, we'll either make a cocktail with it, do one or two eye drops of water. This is everywhere on the table, but it's fine. Yeah, right. And, uh... I'm excited. I can tell. It's on the table. I wonder what the table thinks of the initial smell. But actually, to that point, it really does fill the room. As soon as you pour it, it's like, whoa. You pop something different than what I'm used to popping. Pause. This is uh, powerful on the nose. Very floral. Which makes sense for a gin. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because when you have gin, you're... Primarily thinking juniper, which is what most gin is made out of. And yep. you get a little bit of that, but this gin is very vegetal. Like, it's very coastal, sea salty, green, like, raw vegetables in this glass. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. I, I like this. I like this nose a lot. You can get a little bit of, like, a pepper, like a zing on the back end, but there's really, there's, it's very fresh and, like, it smells like a gloomy Irish day. That's what it smells like. Not just not pretentious or anything, but we were in Ireland. I was in Ireland. 
With Derek. For like five days. Nose on this, I'm going to go A. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree, I agree, I agree. It, it's a very pleasant nose. I think that is very different because they don't use juniper. Um, and, and that rock samphire just gives you that extra little bit of, ooh, that's interesting. And it yeah. kind of makes you want to keep going in to see what other things you can pick up from this gin. Yeah. I like it a lot. All right, initial taste. Classic clonic, classic clonic kill tea. That's what I was trying to say, and then my mouth is like, hold on, I need a second because of what you just put in there. Pause. <laughs> it honestly tastes like, what are those like annual flowers that you pick up at your local nursery the that are like pink? The pr- I don't know the name of them, but you're talking about the perennials that come back every year? Or are you talking uh, no, about the, the ones, ones that, that are like literally die hang. in three months? Hanging like, baskets? Yeah, like what are those flowers? Like that's what it... You smell a fresh flower, and that's kind of what this tastes like. Really, th- this has this is so floral that it tastes somewhat like you're eating a flower. But it's annoyingly soft and smooth, and that's what I don't understand how they can do. Well, I do because everything is super fresh and hand picked, and they're a small distillery, so they focus on quality, which is super nice. Where they're not massive, and then sometimes the QA kind of goes away. Like it's yeah, they're in a prime spot as a distillery to ensure certain things are met mm-hmm. every single time. And You're also... Oh, go continue. Sorry. And in that, when you taste this gin, it's just all the ingredients hitting you up front in a pleasant way, not an overwhelming way. And it's smooth enough to r- remind you, like, hey, you can have this neat or make, you know, whatever cocktail you want. It's all going to be beneficial. Yeah. I Dude, they did a really good job with this. You're also, like, deeper. You're getting mo- kind of a black licorice anise taste to it, too. Um, which is, again, just a very interesting taste to get with your gin. This isn't a typical gin. I'll, I'll tell that right out. If yeah, you're no. looking to get a typical gin um, to have on the shelf to mix with everything, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because the flavors are so distinct that if you're looking to make a French 75 or something like that, this won't be what you're normally typically looking for. Yep. But if you're looking for a good sipper that'll make unique cocktails, I think that this is amazing. That anise, licorice, and then you're also still getting that vegetal and that flower note is just really encapsulates your mouth and make you makes you honestly salivate quite a bit. Yeah. Initial taste, I'm going to go A+. Plus. I'll go A+, plus too. Ending note, you do get a uh, almost like a peppery back end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, lingered, it lingers in a really good sense. I mean, it's not overpowering warms up your chest I and mean, it's just really really well made yeah and kind of the back end too i, I love that pepper call that pepper call is really good um like have you ever eaten a raw piece of broccoli and you kind of get that like very fresh uncooked raw green on the end yeah that's kind of what i'm getting on the back end too yeah that's fair very fresh yeah which makes me fall more in love with all their products i, know, I just want to go back truth uh any note for me is still an a yeah i'll go a i like it yeah, I, agree, I, agree. I agree i agree i agree final rating for gins we haven't rated many gins no we haven't so this is going to be in relation to the other gins that we've rated we just did a devil's bathtub which isn't even in production anymore so mm-hmm. ixnay on that day Derek, give me that countdown three two one 94 93 solid Clown and Kilty, nice job as always. Uh, we appreciate you guys, and this is not sponsored by them. So No, sponsored by Eddie's, though, as we said. Yes, but, uh, yeah, honest feedback on your gin. Thank you for creating another great spirit that you can pair with a uh, any, any uh, top-tier gin, but also any good cocktail. If so. you're looking for a unique gin that will create good different cocktails pick this up if you're looking for a base gin that tastes like every other gin that you can use as a well gin don't get this because you'll spend too much time trying to figure out the flavors that go with this because this is such a unique flavor profile it's meant to be like sipped neat or in a really well curated cocktail yes cool all right well if you do go pick this up at Addie's, you can go pick it up for 10 percent off yeah he gave it to us so 
Check with the store. Ten, no, it'll be on the shelf. Go to our shelf in the very front. As soon as you walk in, you'll see a wooden shelf, and it has our QR code etched into it as well. Sure does. So if you are going to go pick this up at the store, or you're planning on drinking anything else that we talk about, please remember to always drink responsibly, be a good person, and Michael. Do not litter. We're out. We'll be right back.